Hey! Calm yourself, Jinko. Those bastards! I am sure you are surprised at the sight of the opposing leaders coming together in one place. Count Alex, Supreme Commander of the Southern Forces, and I, Shuenzeit, will now issue a joint statement regarding cessation of hostilities in this civil war. What? The... The, the war is really ending? Since the horror of the Great Carta War, we have lived under the watchful eye of Lestrada, received its blessings, and have sung of the thousand years of prosperity in this bountiful land. But all of that is now about to become the fantastic tale of a fleeting dream. Catastrophe is about to visit us again. I say this because problems have arisen in the circulation of Khan, the source of our world's strength. These are the Doom Seeds, the terrible seeds of misfortune which rain down upon us. However, we know of a means by which that catastrophe may be averted. That means is the miracle that is the Magna Carta. It is the single light which will cleanse the world. And after exerting myself to the breaking point in search of this light, I found it at long last. The Magna Carta that will save the world is none other than Princess Rizafilda! You son of a bitch! What the hell are you getting at? <sighs> I am sure there are some among you who bristle with indignation at the country's princess put on display and treated like a common criminal. However, I would like to inform you of a terrible truth. You will learn how she deceived the people with two faces, one hidden behind a mask of lies. What does he mean? <sighs> Originally, Magna Carta referred to one possessing enormous strength of Khan. With this energy, it is possible to save this world, which is decaying due to the Doom Seeds, just as the hero Strauss did. In short, the Magna Carta offers himself up as a sacrifice to save the world! These thousand years of splendor were built upon the Magna Carta's noble sacrifice. The Magna Carta's sacrifice gives strength to Lansheim, which groans as it is eaten away by the Doom Seeds. Sacrifice? He wouldn't. When I learned this truth, I informed the late queen, but her majesty refused, unable to sacrifice her daughter, and then made me out to be a traitor and tried to have me killed. A choice was thrust upon me. Do I fight for Lonsheim? Or do I stand idly by and watch Lonsheim's downfall? I was forced by necessity to make this difficult decision. I would fight for Lonsheim. I had no choice but to launch a civil war in order to remove the royal family. Compared to the suffering of the masses, tormented by the calamity falling from the sky, my own anguish was as nothing. Of course, I begged the princess afterwards, please will you do as generations of Magna Cartas have done and sacrifice yourself to save the world? However, she refused my plea. Then, concealing the truth, she deceived Count Alex and formed the Southern Forces. Making me out to be the very personification of evil, she guided the course of the Civil War. Everyone holds his own life, dear. But she, as the next Queen of Lansheim, has a duty to protect the country and her people. Do you all believe that with the end of the war, the Seedfall will end just as it once did? I say to you, no! The Calamity will continue to smolder! Without the sacrifice of the Magna Carta, the world cannot be saved. Slowly but steadily, this world is headed towards destruction. 
The very existence of our world is threatened by the Princess's selfish actions. The very being meant to save this world has become instead the instrument of its destruction. The noble sacrifices of Magna Carta's past must not be in vain! I can't believe it! That's horrible! How could the Princess do such a thing? Someone who was going to be queen would forsake her own people? If Lonsheim falls, the throne will be meaningless! Ah, oh, come on now! Don't believe that crap! It's not crap! Lord Alex is standing up there with him! Everything that he said is the truth! The princess is not worthy of the glorious name handed down to her from the great hero Strauss. Turning her back on the cries of grief and anguish, she has ushered in a disastrous war, all for the sake of self-preservation. As long as she remains alive, the Doom Seeds will continue to rain down on Lonsheim. And beyond that lies nothing but utter destruction. No, Lonsheim might be destroyed? Sacrifice the princess! I don't want to die! Life is hard enough as it is! I don't want the Doom Seeds to keep falling! Kill the princess! She's the one who started the war! Hey, are they serious? This talk is... Crocelle, wait! You expect me to keep my mouth shut? No, we can't cause a commotion here right now. Remember, our top priority is rescuing Zephy. We're here for Zephy. Damn it, this is ridiculous! I can't believe they're actually swallowing this stupid speech of his. The road that has brought us here has been a long and painful one. In order to protect Lonsheim and her people, I felt that I must tell all of you the truth in its entirety. For this is no time for humans to be fighting one another. To that end, I agreed to meet with Count Alex and reveal to him the Princess's true nature. Fighting amongst ourselves has now become meaningless. Even the horror of the Doom Seeds will be extinguished soon. I now offer a proposal to you all. I say we force this Princess, who has refused her noble duty and caused a war, to fulfill the Magna Carta's original role! Now, make your choice. Will you live in a dying world smothered by doom seeds, or will you return to a world of plenty? Lift your voices high! Shout! Paradise is ours to take! Shout! Sacrifice the princess! Paradise is ours to take! Kill the princess! Put her to death! This is Felda. Enough. This stupid garbage ends now. He'll pay for this. He's got some nerve spouting that crap when he was the one doing the scheming. I can't take this anymore. We're going in, right? Yeah. This time, we rescue Zephy. I'll back you up. Hey, are you really gonna be okay? I won't let him control me this time, no matter what. In that case, let's go. We'll hold off their grunts. I believe in your strength, Judo. Please, rescue Princess Rusefilda. Count on it. What? What do you people think you're doing? Do not be alarmed. We have no intention of harming any of you. We have come to rescue Princess Rusefilda. Rusefilda? You want to rescue the princess who's brought disaster down on us? Hmm. <laughs> so, they have come. We must not involve innocent people in this. Have the civilians evacuated. I'll do that. 
The Allied forces will protect you all from those who have conspired with the princess. Ladies and gentlemen, please evacuate the square. Come on, let's get away from here. The soldiers will protect us. I can't believe they're rescuing that imposter. They don't care if the world is destroyed, so long as they get what they want. Alex, you bastard! You would risk your lives in a fruitless battle. Even if you save her, it will change nothing. It looks like we will have to deal with those people. You are right. They are the sort who might keep the flame of her support alive. Remove those people! They are apostles of the devil who will cause Lansheim's downfall! Burn everything down! Strike. 